So in this video, we are going to talk about the flexible compact system basic that is included in the September free for the month collection in the Epic Game Store marketplace. So this is a flexible compact system as the name suggests. It's a compact system that is really flexible. You can easily add features into it, remove features into it or extend its capabilities by adding your own features. Since this entire combat system is built entirely in blueprints. So there are a lot of features in here and again you have options for the tutorials over here. And the creator of this toolkit has a lot of tutorials. You can refer to his YouTube channel for that. And again there are a lot of features in here that we are going to check when you are trying out this combat system. And again it's fully in blueprints. You can easily extend it. And again this is the flexible combat system that is the basic version. There are two versions to this, the basic and the non-basic version. The basic version only has melee combat in it, so it doesn't have any of the ranged combat or it doesn't have any of the inventory system or the avatar customization or anything like that. So most of those kind of things you need to add on your own. But apart from that, this contains almost everything you need for a combat system. And again, it's important to know that the flexible combat system basic and the non-basic version are both different. Once you create a project with the basic flexible combat system, you can't upgrade it to the non-basic version that contains all the extra features in it. With that out of the way, I'm gonna I'm going to create a project out of this. So as with every other projects, I think it's important to mention that in this project, when you first open it up. There are a lot of shader compilations. I believe there are more than 2000 shaders in this. So it will take some time for all of them to get compiled. And after all of them had gotten compiled, you will end up in this level. So this level is the demo level. And if I wait to run this, you can see we have our character over here that has all kinds of controls. And you can see everything is kind of properly labeled over here. Your options to attack, block, dodge and roll. And here the UI system over there that shows our level, our current XP, HP and our stamina. And again, as I roll, you can see that the stamina is getting consumed. And again, it has all the typical features of a fighting combat game. You have the option to click on tab and it will lock on a character. So here we have the combat and again, you can see in each of these levels, you have this board that explains on what to do. So if I were to go on, on these weapons over here and press the E key it will automatically keep and again you can press the T key to draw them and again you have the option to combat over here you have this little button over here you can press and it's in block mode or such and have various combos and text that forms up and even in the block mode if I attack from behind you can see how it causes damage so again, you have all of these options and each of these weapons have their own animation for them. And you have the option to crouch by pressing the left control button. And you can crouch and then go behind enemies. In order to create a slow motion kill cam, you need to first lock on a character and make sure you're not seen. And then attack and you to create this little kill cam over here. And for each weapon, it's kind of unique. So again. And again, you can see as I kill the enemies, my XP is increasing. And as all of these combos that you can see, and you can see our level up text that appears. You have options to kind of save your game. And this is how combat looks like. And when you use a lot of Combat, you can see we have this low stamina text that pops up. Any options to kind of make noise and then kind of make the enemies kind of move into those directions. Yeah, that's about it. The demo level of this particular toolkit. So I highly recommend you to check out this tutorial if you are planning to use this asset. Which is actually from the creator of this combat system. And there is probably no other video out there that explains how to use this combat system better than this video. He goes in detail on how you can set up this combat system. 
in an existing project, changing weapon interactions, adding new characters and more. Basically this video is the equivalent of a documentation since there is no actual documentation for this asset. And that's it. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye.